Hi and welcome to another tutorial from Homes. Today we're looking at the Flickr text intro tutorial. I've got my Cartesian planar with here where the Y axis is on the vertical and the X axis is on the horizontal. I'm just going to go ahead and create a plane with Shift and A. Let's go to Mesh and Plane. Then we're going to go ahead and scroll up. We're going to hit New. Alright, and New is going to create some new geometry nodes. Um, nodes right here. We're in Geometry Node Editor. So you can find it here. You can also access geometry nodes by going to the modifiers tab and searching for the geometry node modifier. Cool. Let's go ahead and with the mouse hovering at this geometry nodes windows, hit control and spacebar so that we can see the node set up a bit easier. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of nodes here. So I'm going to hit shift and A. I'm going to search for string node. This one is the least necessary node here but I like it because it helps with organization of the node network let's go ahead and add string slice or slice string good you can use this one without having to use this one here but like I said I prefer it let's go ahead and add a string to curves cool let's go ahead and add that string to curves right here and this did couple the input because we're not going to need it let's go ahead and let's move this across a bit and put this here I'm going to put the curve instances to the geometry let's go ahead and fill this curve because right now it's just the curves alone so we're going to add fill this curve I'm going to use it triangles to fill it cool and I think we can type in some text here we're going to type in flicker and let's see what this looks like in our viewport so we're going to hit control and spacebar to go back and we can see that we have flicker typed in here and if we move the length we can see that it indeed is type is controlled by the geometry nodes cool so with that let's go ahead and add the hero of this tutorial and that is the stored attribute stored named attribute node here we're going to select instance Cool, and what we're going to do here is add a also a, a random value node. So we're going to add random value. Cool, change this to a vector, and we're going to add this into the value here. Cool. So with the stored name attribute, we are storing an attribute in a file, and so we have to name this file. And this file is available for reference outside of geometry nodes because we're going to be referencing this file in our shader. Um, window so we have to give it an, a name I'm gonna call it blink good but you can realistically give it any name you want and then lastly we have to set the material in geometry nodes that we're going to be applying this effect to so we have to set the material uh, let's go ahead and find it I called it blink here it's any material we've not done anything to it yet but we just named it so that we can find it and now we are good to navigate over towards the shader view. So let's go to the shader window now, uh, shader editor, and we can go ahead and press, um, let's go ahead and select blink, and let's decouple the principal BSDF, and delete it, hit shift and A, I'm gonna search for attribute node here, awesome let's go ahead and add a color ramp cool let's go ahead and add a mix shader let's add a emission shader cool and lastly we're going to add a transparent shader transparent bsdf shader Cool. Let's go ahead and add the network, the nodes together. Transparent to the top, emission to the bottom, shader to the surface, color to the color of the emission, and then vector to the FAC. And we see that our text has gone black, and that's normal. We're going to go to the materials here because we're going to use transparency. We have to go to blend mode down at the bottom and select alpha blend. Good. And now we can begin to change some of the parameters here to get the effect that we're looking for. The first thing is that we're going to increase the emission to um, 3. Let's see what 3 looks like. 
we'll go over to our render tab here let's go ahead and change the or um, enable bloom here so we can see bloom cool that way we can see bloom here let's go ahead and change the um, interpolation for the ramp to constant from linear yep. and now we have a lot more functionality here cool and we're going to add the alpha of the color ramp into the FAC of the mix shader cool so what we're going to do is go ahead and add some more stops so we have more colors to um, change from cool let's add go ahead and oh no for this one we just need I think we just need um two stops in this one I think yeah I think we just need two stops let me just X this one out and we're gonna make the black yeah we need two stops and it just needs to be white cool so let's go ahead and make the one of the white stops transparent cool let's type in the name in the attribute we'll type in blink cool and that way we know with the attribute that we're referring the blink file cool so with this now let's go ahead and just scroll this window up I'm going to change this geometry now so we can see what's going on in both windows here so you notice that everything here is transparent in the flicker window cool so let's go ahead and change some of that now if we're changing the seed we should get some animation here right we're not getting any animation here let me just double check the shaders okay we have it on type geometry it needs to be on instancer um, and this should hopefully add some changes here make sure I've typed it incorrectly that's blink that's blink I'm in the blink material here right, I'm trying to figure out what have I done wrong here I mean, it should be vector okay um i think we have to move this color ramp right we have to move this color ramp and that gives us the flicker effect here so if we go ahead and just check the seeds here we can see that we have indeed achieved our flicker awesome so now that we've achieved our flicker we have to go ahead and add some animation to this whole thing so that we we can get the results that we're looking for so I'm just going to go ahead and add a driver here I'm going to go ahead and just select let's um, first change the font I'm going to use um, Brie Extra Mode and let's scale it up and let's put it in the center a bit cool alright let's go ahead and just scale this down a bit and let me go ahead and add a plane awesome and with this plane here we're just going to use this con to control the flicker with the X so it's going to go to the X location we're going to right click it and go to copy as new driver then I'm going to go ahead and select the flicker come down to the seed and we're going to paste the, the driver then I'm going to go into the driver and edit it a bit good and I'm going to say scripted expression and I'm just going to multiply the expression, the location by 20 cool and then what happens now is that as I move it along the x-axis we can see this controls the flicker cool this allows us to control the speed of the flicker and the nature of the flicker along the seeds so what we're going to do here is that we're just going to go ahead and make this a wireframe you could choose an empty for this instead of an actual um, object but I prefer objects these days because at least I can this just makes it easier for me to select them and put them into solid if I need to all I have to do is turn it off in the, in the render port here let's go ahead and call this flicker control so that we know what it is cool <coughs> so we just disable it in the render 
and um, we should be just fine and with the flicker control now let's go ahead and navigate to our dope sheet and we're going to add some keyframes here so we're just going to simply go from 0 to 1 with the x-axis just entering a x keyframe and we're going to have it finish at 60 frames per second cool so we want the animation to end here and all we're going to do now is just have the to have the flicker come to an end we just simply need to just re um, change or animate the alpha of the shader so if we go to the color ramp and we look at this here this alpha we just need to animate this so it's going to hit a keyframe here and have a keyframe here where the alpha reaches one good and the flicker shows up cool and then for the text intro it's simply just a handwriting text here so i'm just going to copy and paste it basically i'll just link it basically over to the okay, link it over to our tutorial here let's go over to the scene and we have it show up and that is our flicker text intro tutorial cool if you enjoy this tutorial we didn't even add a camera can you imagine if you did enjoy this tutorial give it a thumbs up if you have any questions be sure to ask um, I'll be happy to answer them once I can and um, it's always good to hear your input cool I think this is looking good yeah it's always good to hear your input and also to get your feedback always happy to hear it all right we're coming to the end of the text intro series so i think i have about two or three left um, and we'll be moving into a um, more general type of farm um, tutorials also so you can look forward to that tutorials like three different types of masking i think the next tutorial that's coming up is the three ways to join scenes in blender that's a free ways to join scenes in blender a very important tutorial that will be the backbone of how you make motion graphics in tutorial when dealing with larger projects so that's also something very important right so until i see you again in another tutorial get up and design a new dawn later <laughs>